Well, we're dealing with an industry that traditionally has been very reluctant to uh, any kind of new technology. So digitalization is extremely important because we kind of depend on it. We are using blockchain technology, which is a new technology, and I mean, it's, it's critical, I would call it. Usually I explain it like this because there's uh, blockchain and, and cryptocurrencies, I don't like putting them in the same bucket, but it's an, it's an easy example. So traditionally you have a ledger that's owned by someone, a bank, uh, an association, a company, and they have a designated administrator. Now that administrator handles all the transactions on that ledger, but you have no insight in what's going on. You can't call the bank and say, hey, I thought I'm noticing something kind of shady here. Is it okay if I verify your transactions? Never going to happen, right? Uh, in the blockchain technology, there's a distributed ledger that's public. Um, everybody has access to the ledger, although the information and the accounts, everything is uh, encrypted, but everybody verifies it. There's no middlemen. I don't have to trust a, a, a single entity to verify or handle all transactions. So it makes it way more fair, so to speak. I don't have to trust you, I don't have to know you, but I know that we all together are helping verify what's going on. Even in the finance industry, there's a lot of transaction settlements happening. Uh, in the gaming industry, they are, they're tracking ownership of um, well, skins and games and all that stuff that you have that you purchase in-game stuff. Uh, supply chain, uh, I mean we've run several pilot programs now with, with big billion dollar companies and massive companies that we've handled transactions and, and uh, not only uh, financial transactions but you know geographical data contracts, uh, documents, bills of lading, etc. So it's coming in, in, in a lot of industries, um, you know, finance being one, supply chain being one, gaming being one, pharmaceutical is a big one, um, mining, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different industries. Track and trace and document handling is what we're looking at. Uh, traditionally, you have containers and pallets, for example, going through many different actors in a supply chain. Um, and it's sometimes hard to keep track of where the stuff is. Uh, we add a layer of blockchain across everything and keep track, collect data from all these silos that were er, uh, prior to this were kind of shielded off and hoarded their own data. Uh, so that's one example. Uh, and in supply chain, of course, you want one of the important keywords is provenance. You want to see where's the original bill of lading or purchase order or contract, whatever it is. Uh, and be able to trace all the edits all the way back to the true original. So it has, I feel like it has a lot of applications. It's, it's transport and logistics or supply chain is really one of those industries where we're going to see some massive disruption. I think it's hard today to kind of name some of them. I mean, we've seen the press releases with Maersk doing blockchain, DHL is looking into it, Samsung, Microsoft, um, you have you know, Cisco, you have a lot of software companies, Oracle, um, within supply chain, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of, of big ones that have signed big deals and, and testing out, I mean, with us or with IBM or with whoever the, the blockchain provider is, of course. Uh, so I would say I don't, I don't want to name too many, but yeah, absolutely. Well, there's a couple. One is that we're kind of in the infancy of the technology. We don't really have it optimized yet. Um, like the internet in the 1990s, right? 1995, we knew we had something big going on. We could connect to each other with a modem and oh, something cool is happening. Now, 25 years later, of course, it's in our daily, uh, it's in our daily work, our daily business, whatever it is, right? And the same, same is here, so that's one. The second one is, of course, convincing the industry that to adapt technology. It's, like I said before, historically been a very technology reluctant industry, so to speak. Um, so that's one. And then three, I think one of the big ones is to adapt blockchain technology, you have to adapt a more collaborative mindset. Data sharing is good uh, because it effectivizes the whole supply chain. Whereas in the past, 
people haven't really been that collaborative and you know they're hoarding data etc so it's kind of the the mindset and the shift in the mindset to a more collaborative one uh, I would say those are the big three challenges I think it's gonna go pretty quick uh, it's still a long process so when I say quick uh, you know I'm talking five years maybe but I think the, at the rate we've seen the internet develop, the 25 years later, right? We're going to see that in five to seven years in blockchain because it's, it's, it's evolving way more rapidly. And the ones that made the mistake of not adapting to new technology, and I could list a whole bunch of companies uh, who are now gone, who were big conglomerates, uh, the rest of the, the companies have kind of realized that, eh, something big's happening. We, we, we probably should check it, you know?